Hello and welcome to the Superwoman of the Travel series brought to you by The Dope. Today we have with us a lady who's got over 35 years of experience in travel and tourism and seven years at Veena World. Veena Patel has established herself as an exceptional entrepreneur and is a role model for thousands of women from all walks of life, including women entrepreneurs who idolize her for her grit, hard work, perseverance, determination, business acumen, and business ethics. Veena Patel's dynamism and innovation has given her a seat at the table, which hitherto was occupied by large and foreign entities. Veena Patel is a leader who knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way. Even after having traveled the world, she believes in holding onto her roots. She takes pride in the fact that she is in the business of happiness and considers herself blessed for she's able to do her bit in showing the world to many. A go-getter, a lifelong learner, a prolific writer and an optimist to the core, Veena Patel sees the glass as half full and considers life as something that needs to be celebrated at every moment. Welcome, Ms. Veena Patel, to our show. Good morning to you. How are you? Namaste. Namaste, Ranjini. And namaste, everybody in Dope. And namaste, viewers. I am really humbled because that was a larger than life introduction. <laughs> Thank you no, so much. No, but I am sure you deserve that kind of an appreciation. Uh, for a person who has been in the industry, I would love to know a little about your past. Um, and your journey in the travel industry so far? Yeah, it's been 35 years. Just can't believe uh, time travels so fast. So uh, it was a very good journey and I got so many opportunities, you know, I think uh, might not have got anybody in travel industry. Like uh, now in 2020, I'm going to set uh, an organization again starting from scratch starting from zero like with my father i started uh, the company along with my siblings and my mother it was uh, like mom pop shop that time in 1984 again we were very new for mumbai for the industry and just we decided uh, because my uncle was in tourism industry and uh, then my father along with all of us he started in 1984 that was the first time we made it like we made a sizable credible reputed company then uh, our family grew then uh, of course somebody has to be out and i was the one uh, we took the decision in 2013 that family is more important than business and uh, let's go out and one fine morning, we just came out of the company, which was uh, having a good name, credibility, sizable uh, turnover and everything. And uh, again, we were zero from hero to zero. And we said, uh, let's start. And when we, uh, when we came out, actually, many people came out with us without knowing what I am supposed to do or what we are going to start. And at that time, our elder son just had returned from uh, Australia uh, after his uh, business administration and everything. So he saw that kind of a support from your team members and he was a bit surprised because America, Australia, everything turns around money. And he saw that people without knowing anything, without any direction, they are coming after us and uh, we have not yet decided what to do. What uh, What is this? And that time he said that uh, let's start at a bigger scale. Because uh, that was uh, 
1984 to 2013 almost 30 years we we do not have 30 years now so if we again start from scratch and that from the small shop we don't have that much time so let's start it and i am a very uh, big amitabh bachchan fan you know uh, i used to see each and every movie and used to uh, say dialogues and other things and one day one reporter uh, asked me uh, what's next i said jo 30 saal mein kiya wo 3 saal mein karna hai this was a dialogue of trishul movie oh really <laughs> yeah and i just said that jo 30 saal mein whatever we did in 30 years we have to do it in 3 years and um, it was like a bold statement and uh, okay we started but somewhere when you are so confident when you have a support of people and uh, you are courageous let's do it kind of a person and uh, everybody uh, you know respects and supports what you do and i think that time uh, things happen and we literally we uh, set vina world in 2013 and 2016 we were at the same level of our earlier company and uh, then after that 3 years really vina world became a good sizable company again uh, reputation and credibility uh, war, uh, played a major role and we made it again big and uh, it was going on very well and 2020 came so 2020 again came with all challenges and uh, though we are a good company where all the tourism boards and uh, everybody uh, right from india and other uh, people they want to uh, have partnership with us or uh, together we do many things the this year has really taken us back and uh, now we are again zero so we are getting this third opportunity to start from scratch and i think then there will not be any looking back because uh, uh, in our native language we say iza biza tiza yani ek cheez teen baar hoti hai uske baad you don't have to worry about it and i think uh, this 2020 is giving that opportunity to start again from zero because whatever we did or whatever we have has literally uh, come down and it's again a big zero and you have to be a new vina world to uh, face the challenges of this new world after this pandemic so we are preparing ourselves for that and this is the way we worked and it was wonderful journey from 1984 till now and uh, i really cherished all that because every time you got an opportunity to do something better something faster bigger uh, than the earlier one and that kept us alive that kept us energetic and enthusiastic and that enthusiasm is still on after even 7 months sitting at home which we in travel industry we never do because i used to travel a lot around the globe and within india every week i used to be at the airport all immigration officers and everybody was uh, like even i used to go to uh, australia scandinavia san francisco everywhere just for a day or two and they used to like uh, one year i i i did uh, around 3 4 trips in just 15 days to sydney and then they told us you are the one uh, we are seeing just coming uh doing some some kind of a job and then going again the next day so uh, air india people though, those days i uh, used to travel with air india and they were so surprised to see me so that kind of uh, uh, lifestyle we had i had and 7 uh, months i haven't been at the airport but still we uh, we have uh, we never had a dull moment uh, it was never a depressive kind of a situ- uh, situation we faced and we are really looking forward to let's now face it let's prepare ourselves kind of a thing so uh, feeling really fortunate that this kind of a courage or confidence is inbuilt uh, in me in our family and uh, naturally that flows into your organization also so that way we are finding we are very lucky thank you so much uh, veena for sharing that insightful uh, thought process of your organization 
I, I also want to know what's the core, uh, you know, areas in simple words, like what do you all specialize in? Like, do you all do more on group tours? Is that the reason why you travel a lot? See, if you say at one side, this is any other company on a bigger scale, little bigger scale or group tours. But if you see the other side of it, in group tours, we came up with lot many innovations like women special tours, senior special tours and lot many other categories. So we always say that it's for every house and everyone in the house. So because see one product cannot fit to all kind of. Uh, if we are having children at home, seniors at home, honeymoon couple at home, young couple at home, uh, mid-aged couple at home, everybody is having a different kind of a liking and requirement and a need. And being in a business, we all have to actually see that, yes, we are catering to everybody because business has to grow and you have to find out ways and means to for that growth. And that's why we came up with women special tours and uh, this was I think 13 14 years before we came up with this idea because I used to be a tour manager in our own company and I used to travel with groups and when I used to travel I always found out that see whoever the lady of the house is always managing the family on tour she is actually not enjoying herself to the fullest the way her family enjoys and that that's what you know started uh, having thoughts in my mind that I should do something and uh, then uh, see whenever if you are going on a, a swimming pool or you are playing something the lady is sitting beside the pool and uh, the family is enjoying like kids are enjoying her husband also uh, he dives in the pool and everything but she doesn't enjoy and that was the worry uh, for me then I said let's have the tour for women I conducted first tour for Kashmir but then I, I was not very satisfied about it that it was just another tour just like a family tour I said no this is not what I want because if she has to enjoy or, or she should enjoy I should create those kind of platforms so what we did we all sat together and we found out that what she is deprived of and then we found out that being an Indian lady even putting stepping out of the house is always looked at why 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 you alone is there a need need how can you travel alone means yeah. it is like you know the eyebrows are always uh, up and uh, they they ask you or they they will not ask but the stare will be such that uh, you will feel that uh, it's not wanted kind of sure. so Absolutely. first first taking her out of the house because see uh, the mentality of Pina world and mine is such that whatever we do we want to do it on mass scale okay so it was not just a group of say 10 ladies or 20 ladies I wanted to do it on a bigger scale because slowly slowly after studying these uh, women on tour when I was conducting family tours I said I need to do something and let's have something so we announced one tour to Thailand and there we announced a fashion show where I put uh, a condition kind of a thing you know a sweet condition like if you have not worn jeans in your entire life because there are ladies who have or uh, entire their life they have uh, worn that sari or uh, sari is also having too many uh, things so then you have to wear the jeans so we had a jeans day on tour we had a mini skirt day on a tour we have first it was first we started with skirts because skirts also you know you feel like oh i should wear that but my society, my house, it's not allowed. Even when I got married in uh, my in-laws place, uh, we, a lady, should only wear sari. That was the condition. So I accepted the condition on a condition to me that I will change this, uh, this pattern because uh, it should not be like that. You should not be deprived of. Absolutely. Having some other dresses doesn't mean that uh, you are not suitable for that house Absolutely. so we we changed that and then 
it was like we had all those kind of things like uh, you know buy uh, purchase those big goggles like uh, all the actor actresses uh, they wore or just be in that style and then first tour we announced and it got uh, the response for 300 ladies you won't believe for thailand and then it went on and i i found out that this is the need this is the need for the society and then for last 13 years we are traveling the in a group of 140 20 uh, 200 300 then we went to europe dubai america everywhere even japan cherry blossom was the highlight of uh, all those ladies sure. yeah and we really enjoyed like senior mm. uh, so we been special on uh, mm. such a large scale we are conducting nobody sure. in the entire world is conducting and it's always a great reception at every place people sure. get amazed to see so many ladies indian ladies uh, traveling to uh, traveling all over the world so right. you know while doing the business there is a satisfaction that we did something for the society yes because this was the need so women special is a big innovation we did on a uh, mass scale on a larger scale and we are really proud of it and we used to take like last year till last year uh, we used to take 300 ladies to europe in the time and i used to go and meet them just for a day there because uh, you know i write columns on uh, sunday newspaper so i have uh, that kind of a fan following and everything so uh, you know i i am so fortunate that i got love of all these ladies and i feel that when they are traveling and they are you know uh, on that high level of uh, happiness i should go and meet them so i used to go to switzerland or uh, scandinavian countries or to san francisco or to uh, tokyo and meet them just for a uh, day uh, i i used to be with them and then we used to have a gala evening kind of a thing where we used to conduct a fashion show and other things and i used to anchor the show and it used to be you know the climax of the tour so for that i used to travel every corner of the world and every corner of india and uh, it used to be so it has been halted for uh, one one year now but again yes. next year we will travel okay. because uh, all are now inquiring that when the women special will start so this Absolutely. was one innovation yeah one innovation we did and the second innovation we did was the senior citizens because senior citizens when you become say after 60 you start losing your confidence and even we sitting at home we always tell the elders in the house don't do this don't do that always we remind their age and i wanted to take them out because the one who is not confident of going outside or to the station or taking a train they should come enjoy somewhere outside india or within india and have that confidence building uh, at a greater scale and then like women special there are largest groups in the industry we are taking for senior citizens and i think this is also need of the society because whenever see there are lot many kids who are residing in uk usa australia they are not able to give time to their parents and we do something good for them we take them on tours and then you know the uh, seniors on tour they come to us and they say that yes uh, my son gifted this tour my daughter gifted this tour and something like that and the uh, happiness on their faces it gives you it, it's like uh, your all efforts have been paid off kind of you know that satisfaction and those kind of tours are again yes. all over the world and all over india we are taking and we are really Thanks. blessed that so much of response we got for this senior citizen tours so while Bye. doing the business i think that satisfaction is needed somewhere and we are getting that satisfaction through these innovations and we are really happy how do you think gender dynamics has evolved in the travel industry if you look at it i i think this industry belongs to us ladies because okay. ladies are you know um, by birth they are caretakers okay, okay? they are the givers mm-hmm. and here mm-hmm. in this industry 
first we have to be a caretaker than anything else and i think we are inborn like that and that's why i always feel that this is our industry and i am so blessed that everybody uh, right from uh, my parents uh, husband uh, we have two sons everybody is supporting us so if you are doing something greater for the society for the organization for your team for everybody else uh, allied to it i think everybody supports and i think we are more suited than uh, men for this industry i always felt that and i think that that has given me courage and confidence to take it ahead and everybody supported it there was no abhina abhiman kind of a situation uh, in our house or in our organization because in our organization we have lot many uh, ladies like 60% 65% ladies force is there like we are a team of 1100 people and 60% uh, uh, are ladies so uh, that is really uh, good and they all are managing their homes and managing their career and i think that is the best thing because uh, you have to have we have like uh, our tour manager team there we have lot many uh, you know uh, men there and okay. uh, we uh, like ladies are less but here in offices we have more uh, ladies and i think okay. uh, this is the best suited uh, business for all the women so i think my next question will also be something very similar so in a largely male dominated industry i mean i as i i I'm probably i'm contradicting to the same uh, previous statement if you look at it the travel industry personally yes, if i see, like i see that. a lot more it looks like that so what has been your experience as a woman in a such a senior position how has it been for you see i used to be a tour manager i used to be a director i used to be a managing director i am a managing director now also in this company so at every stage i think gender doesn't matter if you don't feel it if i feel then it is definitely going to affect but always i felt that i am a human being and then you you have to treat equally or you you expect that you should be treated equally and when you i think when you feel that it happens that i i have always believed uh, in my life i used to be uh, a tour manager for indian tours and i used to travel a lot in himal in the himalayas uh, uh, in the, in kerala and all over but i have never faced a situation where uh, i was troubled because i am a woman rather i was always respected locals were always there with the helping hand and supporting hand and they rather like i used to go to kashmir i used to go to himachal i used to go to kerala and people were amazed of seeing a lady uh, with a bl uh, blazer on and a megaphone in my hand you know you know it it used to be like they used to give us so much respect so in a way i think being a lady being a girl in those days uh, was always helpful always respected of course we need to know that when to stop where to stop how to take precaution and how you have to be cautious about everything because that is needed and even that is not only for a girl it is also needed for a boys nowadays and uh, that precaution you have to take you have to be your ears and eyes should be open you should understand the uh, the situation and you should put forth yourself like that i think the world is better place when you are also like uh, you know what is it and that yeah, is how i think your surroundings yes. you are aware of yes. your surroundings you yes. know that and if you would uh, you know um, i'm sure you you said 60% of your workforce po in vina world is ladies so that's such a great uh, you know uh, uh, gender equality which you are uh, you know maintaining in your organization and what's the kind of an advice would you give women who are i'm sure you have a lot of uh, women leaders in your team so what's the kind of uh, advice would you give women who are aspiring to carve a niche in the travel industry 
कि फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डोंट हैव दैट जेंडर बायस और अ फियर ऑफ दैट काइंड ऑफ अ ग्लास सीलिंग और एनीथिंग बिकॉज दैट फियर किल्स यू दैट इज व्हाट द फर्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग सो व्हेन एवर यू वांट टू हैव अ करियर और गेटिंग इनटू अ बिजनेस आई थिंक दैट कॉन्फिडेंस शुड बी देयर एंड देयर शुड नॉट बी एनी काइंड ऑफ अ फियर देन व्हेन अ लेडी वांट्स टू डू अ करियर और अ बिजनेस आई थिंक शी she should have and seek support of her family because that's the most important thing and even on my women special tour i give advice to uh, 7 to 70 kind of a age group there always on tour and i tell them that whoever in your house any girl lady sister whoever sister in law if she wants to do something just support her and that is what is needed that support is needed because when i started business i always had because sometimes people feel or that kind of a, a, a understanding is there like when a lady is in business she can't handle her house or uh, when she is managing the house she will not be able to do a business i think we are able to and we have that kind of a power and strength and we can do both rather better than men men cannot handle this way but we can do that and if you know how to take a support of your in-laws your parents your uh, because basically they they should know what kind of a what is your purpose in life and what you are doing and how you are generating employment to people how you are catering to the needs of the society and if you are true to your purpose i think everybody supports you and never uh, have that feeling because i have decided i will do business and i will manage the house also but i can't manage it i don't know how to cook but there are people to support you and if we support each other i think they there are lot many opportunities and sky is the limit and uh, we should take on hey thank you so much veena for that and coming to the current situation in the travel and tourism industry how has the lockdown and covid uh, 19 affected your business and you personally i always ask this question i know that because i see lot of people coming up with new talents uh, new hobbies so for you personally and business wise what have you devised anything new we will uh, rather what we are preparing ourselves we are looking because see what used to be and what is going to be is going uh, is a totally different scenario and for that the way we used to work we have to change a bit and what we are doing like it was past present and future at the same time you have to handle because first 3 4 months we didn't do anything like my team was after me why you are not doing anything i said strategy is don't do anything right now because there is so much uncertainty the foundation is so much you know um, not certain you can't build any kind of a strategy so just just enjoy because see this kind of a time we will not get after, once we come out of it so just enjoy be with the family we have uh, really not given enough time to our family so let's enjoy be at home uh, let's be patient so uh, and we were talking to each other like uh, three times uh, in uh, those six months i spoke with entire team all our preferred uh, sales partner there are about 200 with the team of about 1000 preferred sales partner team members and we have about 1100 people and we have all all across we have uh, all the associates so we were in communication with all the associates we were in communication with our team members and we were in communication with our channel partners and we were in communication with our guests because there were about 25000 guests booked for international tours uh and very few amount for indian tours till uh, january uh, 31st and all those had to be shifted for next season and that uh, job also so all these angles we really took care of i spoke with even the parents of our uh, team members uh, because i uh, requested all the team members to have their parents on call on the streaming call because what i i am going to speak and what i am going to tell them should be known to their parents or spouses or uh, anybody because we all should be on one page so we literally handled the situation very nicely even i told them that uh, so much uncertainty if you get something better than this 
you take it as a, on a temporary basis and then again if you are so passionate about tourism come back when the things are right so that kind of a uh, transparent policy and transparency in conversing was there because we are like a family though 1100 people we are like a family connected to each other we built vina world and we will build it again after this uh, pandemic is over so that thing we uh, uh, actually sorted then what's next was the uh, thing then we said now if Uh, for a uh, certain temporary time we have to because we are a domestic player also we are international player also international was on bigger scale domestic was also on bigger scale but now we started looking at each and every destination each and every state each and every country in a different perspective and we found out so many things which can be offered to our guests that we ourselves like asking question that all these 35 years haven't we paid so much attention to all these places and we are finding every time we are finding something new and uh, something innovative and that is what we are doing so after 5 months uh, of sitting at home we started working hard on all these and we will come up with new strategies uh, new things for uh, our people and we will because see we are not in the business of selling hotels and air tickets like so online companies is not a uh, competition to us we are actually selling something beyond hotels and uh, this thing which is a need for a for an indian traveler they they are you know touch and feel kind of uh, uh, clientele or guests and they need that kind of a hand holding pampering because even at our homes we need somebody to do uh, something for us and that kind of uh, you know upbringing mentality emotion that is the need and which is catered by vina world or like companies uh, which are in the market and that's why we are not worried about uh, online never because when online was gearing up or at the high we started vina world and uh, that time even some of the companies were going into drain and people were saying are oh, what's happening with tourism industry it's not a good industry and that time we started we made it big again within 3 years so there is always a niche if you are doing something better bigger different uh, for the society and that is what we are doing and now we are with some different strategies which we will open when the times are right because right now we are not advertising anything because it's not the right time let people handle their own uh, situations at their uh, homes uh, at personal level their jobs their their personal economy all these things so i think we have to be patient calm not to go into depression and uh, you know upgrade yourself at all levels so that you will be able to actually face the challenging time you uh, you will be having and uh, that is what we are doing and we will be again new vina world for the new world after pandemic brilliant that's such a Uh, uh, you know uh, insightful uh, you know discussion about your future at vina world in fact that's very good to know i mean you've really worked very in fact i'm so surprised that you spoke about how you you know involve your team members and their parents that's that's something very brilliant i mean to always to take into confidence the entire family means a lot for the employees as well that yes. speaks lots of volumes yeah, about you yeah, the way never forget that and i Absolutely. always feel like travel is such a commodity cannot happen like work from home or uh, education from home or home. online education people have to step out go there experience that uh, those pleasures and happiness so we don't have to worry only thing we have to be patient right now so we are not worried we are preparing for that world people will come out they will have to come out because stress will increase at that time tourism will be needed the most it cannot be seen on the uh, screens of television or cannot be learned on uh, screens like this what we are doing everything can happen but not the tourism and that's why we are not worried about it i know it will I take time but surely it will come back it will uh, revive and we absolutely. have to try it we have each and every one of us have to contribute 
in rebuilding tourism absolutely uh, well said because i know that you know the virtual uh, tours which all the hotels are offering and i'm just feeling it and i i do attend as a travel uh, uh, partner as well and i was just wondering that doesn't give you the touch and feel of a place i mean the <laughs> joys of joys of going there and experiencing is not so right as the virtual tours yeah. are so what well, any other parting comments i know we've spent a lot of time uh, with you uh, today and got a very very uh, valuable uh, you know insights uh, from an experienced person like you uh, but what would be your parting comments yeah thank you very much for giving me this opportunity and uh, let's look forward to each one of us will contribute and rebuild this industry as i said uh, before and we have to be courageous because see you can easily go into depression if you want to so then don't let yourself create that kind of a emotion around you because the environment is such that it can very easily take you into that we have to be really courageous and have something so that we uh, you know uh, uh, we have to be a stronger and uh, energetic version of ourselves so that we will deal with this new world and that is what we are working hard uh, we are doing our level best and we have really improved uh, what we used to be before 7 months and what we are right now is totally different version and i think everybody of us can upgrade ourselves and that this is the best time given by the destiny to us and we should make the most of it all the very best to all of us thank you so much uh, veena for spending your valuable time with us and i'm so glad we we could have this very meaningful and easy uh, conversation today and thank you for joining us today and for all who are watching this i'm sure you would have loved this uh, and uh, please do not forget to like share and subscribe Uh, to the superwoman of the travel industry with brought to you by the dope uh, this is ranjini nambiar signing off for now <laughs>